Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Ankush. Welcome back to a new exciting After Effects tutorial. For those of you who are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell button to get latest updates. Today, I will show you how to create a nice stutter glitch animation using fractal noise and expressions. Something like this. Now guys, as you have seen, this is our full template and in this template, I have used maximum numbers of starter glitch animation to achieve this kind of effect. So in this tutorial, I will show you some of these parts like now in this first part, I will show you how to achieve this kind of effect and the second part, I will show you how to get this kind of nice and glitchy look and in last part, I will show you how to get this kind of text effect. So let's go to our main template. Let's increase the timeline so you can see it properly. Now, if I solo this layer, you can see this is the strata glitch animation. Now, if I'll go through this layer and if I'll select this composition, you can see barely I have used an effect called tint to achieve this effect. So let me solo this layer so you can see it properly. Here's the animation. Now, let me adjust the preview panel so you can see it properly. Here's our animation. Now, if I'll go through this layer, you can see I have used a fractal noise. This is the single effect I have used over here like this. So in this first part, I will show you how to achieve this kind of effect. So at first, let's go to main project panel. Let's create a new composition. Here I'm selecting full HD resolution with 24 FPS to get a nice motion blur and I'll keep the duration of 10 seconds. Let's call it tutorial. Now hit OK. Now I'll create an another composition. Here I'm selecting 600 by 40 and let's call it line. Now in this composition, let's create a new solid. Here I'm selecting a white background color like this. Now to achieve a nice glitch effect, what I'll do, I will drop in fractal noise effect on this layer. And now let's tweak the settings a bit. Now at first I will change noise type to block. But if you want, you can use any other option to get a different look. I will increase the contrast to maybe 200 and I'll go to transform and here I will change its scale to 600 and I will reduce the complexity to 1. So here it is. Now as you can see, it's not doing anything because I haven't done anything to animate this layer. So to animate this layer, I will use a very common expression called wiggle. So if you are not familiar with the wiggle, let me tell you how to use this expression. At first, I will use this expression to this evolution. So at first, let's hit the option or alt key on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch icon like this. Now here, let me increase the panel so you can see it properly. At first, what I'll do, I will mention the frequency rate. Here I'm selecting three. So that means it will animate three times per second. Then I will mention the pixel and here i'm selecting 500 pixel that means it will animate three times per second and 500 pixel now the main expression that is wiggle open parenthesis f comma a close parenthesis and now just click out of this box like this and if you run a ramp preview you can see now it's animating now if you want to increase its rate so what you can do instead of 3 you can write 30 so you can see it will animate faster like this so it depends on your taste how you like to animate what is your main project so let's keep it 3 or maybe 2 yeah this is looking nice now what i'll do in this tutorial panel i will drag and drop this line composition like this now to achieve this effect what i did over here what you can do at first, you can go a couple of frames further and then you can slice up this layer by hitting command or control, shift and D like this 
and again you can go a couple of frames further and again you can slice up this layer like this and you can do it multiple times and you can open their position like this or maybe you can change their position like this and for this layer like this and for this layer like this and for this layer somewhere like this and for this layer somewhere like this so it will look like this but it's not only time consuming if you have to create this kind of multiple layers it will give you a maximum render time so what i'll do instead of doing all this let's delete all these layers here it is now what i'll do i will use some expression but prior to go further at first i'd like to show you the composition settings so you can see our width value is 1920 and our height is 1080 so we have to animate this layer like this so it should cover our full project panel so what i'll do at first i'll hit alt or option and then i'll click on the stopwatch button like this now here i'll write if our frequency is equal to 3 a or pixel is equal to 1200 but still it won't cover the full width because our width value is 1920 whereas it will go out from our composition because our height is only 1080 whereas we are using 1200 pixel so few of the frames will go out from our composition now i'll write wiggle open parenthesis f comma a and close parenthesis now if i'll run a ramp preview you can see it's moving like this but still it's not creating a glitch effect what we are expecting so what i need to do to give a nice glitch effect i'll add another expression so our next expression will be posterize time open parenthesis f close parenthesis so what it will do this expression will change the frame rate as you can see now it's creating a nice glitch effect now instead of three if i'll write one you can see it will move much more slower like this and if you want to increase the rate what you can do you can increase the frequency value like this so it will move like this now i'll do the same to animate its scale so what i'll do let's copy this expression from here let's hit s to open scale create a new expression and let's zoom it up so you can see it properly and I will paste the expression and here now in this part what I'll do I will change its value to maybe 1 and here I'll like to scale it up maybe like 80 so let's check yeah this is looking nice or maybe what I did I must change its frequency to maybe 2 and let's open scale now let's check or maybe I can change its frequency a bit. Uh, 3 will do. Okay, now this is looking nice. Now I'll do the same for its opacity. So now hit T to reveal opacity. And create another expression. Let's paste this expression here. And what I'll do. Here I like to change its opacity to 1. And here I like to change it to maybe 200. Yeah, this is looking nice to me. Now guys, I believe you have noticed that as it is a simple line, it's looking nice but it's not moving uniformly. Like if you have to play with some complex shapes. Let's create a new text. Let's write after effects. Align this to the middle. And now I will change its anchor point to the middle like this. Now open scale and copy this scale expression from here and let's paste it over here now if you'll see the text getting distorted it's not moving uniformly but if you want to move it uniformly or maybe to show you what i can do let's create another composition let's call it x here i'm selecting 400 by 400 now i'll create a new solid here i'm selecting a white solid and let's change it like this let's duplicate this layer and rotate it to 90 degree let's bring this x to our tutorial composition and rotate it to 45 degree so if i'll copy this scale from here and i'll paste it here 
Now, if I run a ramp preview, you can see it's getting distorted, right? It's not moving uniformly. Now, to maintain a uniform moving, what I can do, I will change this expression a bit. So, what I'll do, just I will add a single line over here. I'll copy this line from here and I will add another line. It will be open square bracket and let's paste this wiggle. Then again, open square bracket, zero, close square bracket, comma, again, wiggle open square bracket zero close square bracket and close square bracket now if i run a ramp preview you can see it is moving uniformly like this and if you want to scale it down a bit what i can do just you can reduce its size like this so it will look like this if you want to scale it up a bit so what you can do instead of 80 you can change its pixel value maybe 200 so it will look like this okay guys so that's all this is our first part now in this second part i will show you how to create this kind of glitch text effect to create this kind of glitch text effect let's activate our text layer okay let's delete all the expressions from here and we don't have any expression anymore now what i'll do i'll add a new adjustment layer here I will drop an effect called Venetian Blinds. If you want to get a horizontal line, just change its direction to 90. And you can increase this transition completion, something like this. And if you want to reduce this distance, you can play with this width value like this. And if you want to get some vertical line, you can simply change this value to 0. And if you want, you can also use some wiggle effect over here. To change this expression or you can do it manually whatever you want you can increase its feather like this so it's very simple now you can also use the same wiggle expression on this layer like this so let's say here i like to keep the frequency three and pixel will be maybe 500 and let's write posterize time open parenthesis f close parenthesis and let's run a ramp preview like this now as you can see it's not moving uniformly now to move it uniformly you can write that expression called wiggle or maybe i have copied this effect so let's paste it open square bracket zero close square bracket comma wiggle open square bracket zero close square bracket and close square bracket so now uh, let's check if I have done something wrong over here. Okay. Like this. So now you can see it is moving uniformly. And for this part, what I can do, I can just reduce its size like this. Or maybe what I can do, I can change its pixel to maybe 100 like this let's check yeah this is looking nice now i can use the same expression here so what i'll do let's copy this expression from here and for this transition completion what i can do i can paste the same expression here and maybe here i like to change its value to maybe 80 and here one let's check yeah, this is looking nice and if you want you can use the same expression for its opacity like i have used in this main project and finally i will show you the last part that is the glitch effect to do that let's delete all these layers and grab this rectangle tool let's add a fill color and just draw some thin lines like this like this and maybe like this and something like this here i'm just doing it roughly to give you an idea something like this and something like this and something like this now what i'll do now i'll use the same fractal noise effect over here and instead of block now i will use the soft liner and let's increase its contrast to 200 let's change its complexity to one and change its transform to maybe 500 now you can see 
this is looking nice now I'll use the same expression here so what I'll write if is equal to 2 a is equal to 500 and then wiggle open parenthesis if comma a close parenthesis now if I'll run a ramp preview it's looking like this now what I'll do let's recompose this layer and let's call it glitch now I'll use another effect called tint now here I'll select maybe a green color like this or maybe something like this and in this white I'll use a red like this if you want you can use any different color it goes according to your project so it will look like this and if you want you can just change its blending mode to add or screen depends on your project so to get this nice glitch effect what I'll do I will add an another adjustment layer and here I will drop an effect called motion tile now if you want to move these layers horizontally you can use this X value to move it like this and if you want to move it vertically you can use this Y value so if you want you can do it manually like you can create a keyframe over here you can go two frames further you can change its value like this again you can go to three frames further you can change its value something like this and maybe something like this so if you hit U, you can see here is some keyframes or else what you can do so instead of making these keyframes if you want to move this horizontally and vertically you can add another effect called slider control and let's drop the slider control on this adjustment layer now what I'll do I will present this tile center with this slider controls by clicking alt or option click on the stopwatch button and I will paint this layer with slider so right now if I'll move this slider you can move it horizontally and vertically together like this so if you want you can use the same wiggle expression over here so let's write f is equal to 1 a is equal to 20 then write posterize open parenthesis f close parenthesis and then wiggle f comma a close parenthesis now let's check I have done the mistake over here it would be posterized time okay now let's check so this is looking nice so if you want you can increase its frequency to 3 it depends on your project how do you like to move so instead of this tint if you want you can use four color gradient like this and if you want you can change its color something like this and maybe you can put this layer somewhere here and for this you can go for a nice red color and maybe you can change it somewhere here like this so it depends on you what you'd like to do so the color choice depends on you on your project but this is the base concept now guys if you want to learn how to create this kind of rolling text effect you can check my previous video which is coming on the suggestion on the top right corner so that's all guys I believe using these expressions and some of this effect you can also create some nice animation and templates so that's all for the day if you do like this video please hit the like button still if you are new to this channel then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I believe this tutorial will save your bills from buying paid templates so a minimum support through donation will be very much appreciated and guys I'm also live on Instagram TV if you want to follow me there here's my channel link coming on screen so thank you guys thank you for your time have a blessed day to you bye and see you again peace